every second, you are getting bombarded with 10,000 particles from space. Now, you probably don't know this because you can't see them, you can't hear them, and you can't feel them. In fact, most of them just pass right through you. But with a few simple materials, you can actually make your own particle detector to actually see these particles coming from space, which we call cosmic rays. So what you'll need is you're going to need a clear plastic tub, like a fish tank, some felt that you're going to glue onto the bottom of the fish tank, some sort of lid or base for your fish tank. Black is preferable, like this. And then some sort of base that you can put it all on. Now you're also going to need a few materials that might be a bit trickier to come by. You're going to need some isopropyl alcohol and some dry ice, which I have in this container right here. Isopropyl alcohol is the thing that your mom puts on your cuts when you skin your knee or something and makes you go, ah! So you really don't want to get this stuff in your eyes, which is why I'm going to wear some safety goggles while working with it. Now, if you think this stuff burns bad on a cut, don't touch the dry ice, because this stuff is really, really cold. This is actually frozen carbon dioxide. Now, most gas doesn't freeze normally, so it has to be really, really cold to actually get it to be a solid. So when working with the dry ice, make sure that you wear some gloves. So here comes the assembly part. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take some of the dry ice and place it just like this. You're going to take your fish tank and you're going to use the isopropyl alcohol and you're going to soak it until it is thoroughly, thoroughly damp. You want as much alcohol in here as possible, but not so much that it's dripping. If it does start to drip, just go ahead and let the excess drain off. Now comes putting the whole thing together. You're going to take your lid, put it on top of the dry ice. That's the sound it makes while it cools down. Then you're going to take your lid, drain off that excess alcohol onto the base. and set it right on top. And now we wait. The warm alcohol that's at room temperature in the felt is going to evaporate into the air inside the tank. But as it approaches the bottom, it's going to cool down close to the temperature of the dry ice. So when it's up here, it wants to be a gas. But when it reaches down here, it's going to want to be a liquid. So any little disturbance in the air will create a cloud. Now comes the particles from space. As they zip through our cloud chamber, they create a disturbance, and they actually ionize some of the gas molecules. And all those evaporated alcohol molecules clump together and form little tiny droplets. So what we see is these spindly-like tracks that look a little bit like contrails from airplanes and are actually formed in quite a similar way. Now, if you switch off the lights and use a flashlight, you can actually see the different types of particles passing through here. So the big fat tracks are from radon atoms spitting out alpha particles. The very long straight ones are from muons. So muons are the bowling balls of the fundamental particles. And when they go through the air, they go straight through. They don't get deflected. Now the electrons and positrons are much smaller and much lighter. So when they pass through your cloud, they're going to leave more curly Q zigzaggy type tracks because they're going to bounce off all these particles that they run into. So just from a really, really simple concept, you can create something really amazing and cool. Science! Woo!